Mimi kiona it's not just saying but my end is near. It's not a must saying sikuje tu pa mara moja ukufe. It starts slowly slowly. And me as I feel myself I'm feeling my body is getting weak. Kaambia me just want to die. Dawa nimekunywa nimekunywa. Relatives ndao wameni abandon. Nimekosa hiyo upendo na mali mamangu au wazazi wangu wako nyoliaga. I know they are always praying for me and I pray for their spirits. Walale salama. Their death affects me even my friends when you meaga. I've been all alone. Nikakuja nikasimama kwa balcony niangalie hivi nikasema why am I suffering like this? Nikasema nikijitupa hapa chini si nitakuwa ndamaliza kifo changu. Choko family, how are you doing? My name is Kingori Wangeshi and this is a special edition of Tuko My Story. We are here in Gitaru, this is Kiambu County, and we are here to have a conversation with a young man who says he feels like his days here on earth are coming to an end. He will tell us why. Just come with me. Michael? Yes. Asante sana kutukaribisha hapa. Asante. Eh, story yako nilisoma pale kwa site ya Tuko. Nikaona ni vizuri tuketi na wewe tujue vile maisha inaendelea. Lakini tupe ka historia tu tuambie jina lako. Mm -hmm. First of all jina langu kamili ni Michael Ian Utieno. Mm -hmm. Ni toka kwa familia ya watu watano mm -hmm. lakini wote wakakuja wakaaga na nilikuwa naishi Nairobi upande wa Komarok mm -hmm. mama na baba na madada zangu zote walipata accident hapo maimayo kutoka na rock watu wakakufa waka on the spot wakati walifanya postmortem kuchunguza nini nilitokana na kifo mamangu alikuwa anaendesha gari mm -hmm akapata asthma attack mm -hmm. lakini so waka lose control na nikali kwa na over speed mm -hmm. so wote wakaaga waka na alikuwa anaenda kutembelea anti yangu na mimi pia naye nilikuwa nafaa kwa kwa hiyo gari lakini ikawa niko mgonjwa mm -hmm. jua hii siko selanemia mm -hmm. ikanishika ikabidi nimekaa na nasi wa nyumbani mm -hmm. nikikaa nikiongezwa maji mm -hmm. Michael ako na miaka mingapi sasa niko na miaka 18 mkumi na nane mm -hmm. na hiyo ilikuwa miaka mingapi imepita miaka nane iliyopita eight years ago e, so ulikuwa miaka kumi peke yake mm. sasa tangu hiyo siku tangu hiyo siku wakati waliaga mm. nilikuwa tu peke yangu nimechanganyikiwa aunt yangu akakuja madada zake wa mama akakuja akashughulika na marafiki upande wa mazishi tukaenda tukawapumzisha sasa ya baina ilikuwa inataka niende children's home lakini marafiki wa mama walikuwa nataka niende children's home lakini auntie akakata akakata akasema huyu haizani na children's home atenda mali vitu za dada zangu zitaenda so nikachukuliwa nikaenda Narok mara mwaka wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu sisi sema ni, ni alikuwa mbaya alikuwa na treat vizuri lakini alikuwa, eh, mm -hmm. alikuwa nilikuwa nagonjeka hadi nilikuwa naenda ICU couple of times hadi one of my kidneys sai kama ime ime collapse sana nafaa kutolewa sai sai eh, sai kidney yangu moja ifanye mm -hmm. iliharibiwa na madawa strong hizo mm -hmm. za ICU jingekuwa na dungwa the highest pain killer mm -hmm juu sasa mlango iko inasikia pinkile ya kawaida so nika ma relative kusikia hivyo waliona ni ngumu sana ni cost lakini walikuwa nakuja into a humble background si eti wanajiweza sana hivyo ndo nilikuja nikaishi nao nikakaa nikaanza kwenda shule nikasoma hadi darasa la nane kufika kidato cha kwanza 
hapo ndio sasa ugonjwa ikazidi nika ikaanza kuwa badoniwa nikaanza kuchipeleka hospitali nikiwa na Rock County referral kwa hiyo by the way madaktari huko na Rock wamekuwa kama wazazi wangu na walikuwa nanilisha hata nikiwezwa sorry to say nilikuwa na valishwa adult diaper juu kwa najiweza juu wakati ugonjwa inaanza ni kama kansa inavunja inavunja huko so unakuwa stagnant wezi dormant wezi fanya kitu so ina, te, inabidi unategemea relative wako unaoshwa naoshwa nafanywa nini nalishwa wamekuwa mzuri kwangu dawa wamenipea despite nini lakini walikuwa wameniacha 2 weeks bila mtu wakakuja hospitali kawafukuza wakasema kama mtaki kuchunga mtoto si tutamchunga juu sasa hii ni death sentence alafu tena wakani discharge wakawakubalisha waingie wakani discharge nikaenda nao tena wakaona after 2 weeks niko hapo wakashindwa ni nini mbaya na siko cell wakati wanajua siko cell patient wako na siko cell wana lazango ni wakati wa baridi na environment kama sio mzuri so akagundua aka final conclusion yao akasema ni environment juu hata wakati wa jua ugonjwa wangu yuko imezidi damu imeenda platelets imeteremka imeteremka chini so wakaona environment yenye niko sio pleasing sasa kuna nas mwingine hapo alikuwa na jaraf anti yango akaulizwa michael anaishi haji huko akamwambia michael ni yatima currently nikimoja na ako na stress ya kuingia kidato cha kwanza tumemuingiza lakini bado tulikuwa tunadhani ni hiyo lakini bado mimi nikiulizwa tu nilikuwa ninasema mambo po mambo iko sawa juu i know them vile wanakuwa kisirani hadi sasa wakati walichukua viti za mamangu vitu zote hata mango zangu aligawa chati imagine ni niko uhai wakati walikuwa na gawa mango za mamangu au madada zinda kwa ma relatives paka zangu ziliangukia hapo ni rafiki aliokoa mm-hmm. rafiki chanda na pete wa my late mom akaiokoa akawauleza mbona mnagawa hizo mango na mtoto wake hajakufa aja ndio huyu mm-hmm. ndio mango chache ninavaa dio leo na kuna zingine mwenye naishi naye ndo amenibaya zingine kidogo lakini chache zingine ati akachoma wanasema hataki kunguni za Nairobi na hata ilikuwa na kunguni so nikitoka shule badala nikae kwa sofa set I'm told that nimechafuka nikae chini nikae chini so hiyo kitu yangu na e, mtoto wake mm-hmm. alikuwa anaishi na sisi Nairobi mm-hmm. so kwenda huko kwenda huko na Rock sakaanza kupeana misleading information ati kwamba ati tulikuwa alikuwa anateswa na ni uongo nini nini so wakati sasa nika mamangu family yangu waliaga sasa nika advantage ya kuniripe back so nikasumbuka nikasumbuka nikaanza kuwa na stress nikasema ndapata wapi familia mzuri nini nini nikaenda shule siku na amani juu hadi chakula wanakupia senye wanataka na ukiwa na hiyo gonjo unafaa kula wakati on time dawa ufai kukosa kuna dawa zingine si atupokee kemo tunapokea ingine inaitwa hydroxyurea lazima ufai kukosa lakini jumis kwa natoka familia yenye naweza kwa anti yangu they didn't care lakini ona alikuwa anajaribu jo chini at least ingekuwa anapata ya wiki tatu na meza kidogo na meza lakini haikuwa inatosha ju environment yenye nilikuwa naka ni yenye nilikuwa naka sio pleasing siku na amani siku yani una feel hata ukitoka world ile yenye vile mtu unaambiwa wangu umepona una discharge leo unaenda nyumbani ile furaha yenye mtu anakuwa nayo so mimi nikiambiwa hivyo na feel vibaya sana hadi namwambia daktari uko sure nimepona ile, ile tu namua una confirm akanuza mbona utai kwenda nyumbani kamwambia uwezi elewa because hata nikienda nitarudi hapa it's better to come hapa jo i know where i'm going it's not a safe place hapa hata at least nitakula at least hata nitafurahi lakini huko huko ni my, it's a living hell so tukaendelea hivyo sometimes nikajipeleka hospitali nikashinda on and off and on and off and on and off wakakuja wakani abandon for two years 
nikakaa na Rock County Referral Hospital. Ulikaa hospitali miaka miwili. Bila relative na Rock. Bila relative, bila mtu, mtu yote kukuja, nikaenda ICU. So nika dischargeiwa. Nikaaniambia uko na relative wangu gani mwingine nikamwambia anko ndugu ya mama. Akaniambia anakaa wapi kuna mali kunaitwa Wasonyiro huko na Rock. It's some few kilometers from Narok town. Niko kwa Masai ndani ukelekea Masai Mara. Akamwambia saa utatupia namba yake juu kidischargeiwa bado huo uzijitoa na hospitali ukitoka hapa si ndio tutalaumiwa. Hata tuseme kitu kikufanyikia tutalaumiwa malumeenda. So uncle wangu akapigiwa. Uncle wangu alikuwa that willing the brother sasa to my mom. Alikuwa willing lakini sasa bibi yake pia is another one. Bibi yake pia sio mzuri. Ati anasema sasa nikigonjeka kazi sasa nani atakuwa naenda. Akaulizwa kwani Michael akikuja huko nikugonjeka atagonjeka akasema yeye ako busy. Ni lakini uncle yangu ako willing. Ikabidi tu nimepeleka huko by force ju hospital pain infection wakati ilikuwa ya covid kidogo na siko sana covid mi immunity yangu iko chini nikaenda nikakaa kukaa nikaanza kusikia uchungu kuna ida wa uchungu nilikuwa nadungwa saa zingine na jidunge inaitwa tramadol injection hiyo ni uchungu nilikuwa na jidunga na kaka na kaka ikabidi saa siku na siku ikafika saa tisa ya usiku nika crisis ikaamka siko cell crisis nikaanza kupiga nduru tu kwa nyumba nikiomba msaada sasa huyo bibi yangu anasema sasa unaona kitenye siku anataka saa ya 9 usiku nani atamka na mimi nimechoka mimi siziamka saa 9 usiku nipeleke mtoto wenyewe usiwe uamke mimi nikamwambia sasa mbona mnaongea hivyo nika na mvule mamangu alikuwa haya alikuwa anawasaidia nilikuwa nalia na uchungu uchungu ya kenye ninapitia na uchungu wenye saa na pitia kwa mwili nikona hao nikikaa hapo ilikuwa saa tisa usiku na kila kitu imepanda ikabidi nitembe na magoti nikajikaza huko ilikuwa inaniuma na nibaridi nikavaa tu jaketi nilikuwa nimeelekea kama pilu juu nilikuwa nalala kwa sofa set so nikalala uchungu ikaniweza nikona hapa hapana nikamdanganya naenda kujisaidia mimi nikachukua tu jaketi yangu nikatembea nikilia saa 10 usiko nikitafuta msaada huko kwa barabara kwa gari nikalia nikakaa ikaniweza nikakaa hivi lakini nilikuwa nalia nikijikokota bahati mzuri kuna gari hii ya tourist ilikuwa inapita walikuwa napita walikuwa wametoka nikalikuwa ametoa wageni wazungu Masai Mara akapitia hapo wasinyiro akaniona nimelala katikati ya bara bara nimekaa hivi nikilia nikasimamisha gari wakasimamisha wakanionea huruma wakanipandisha nikapelekwa akanipeleka hospitali saa kumi usiku hospitali kwenda huko dawa pia hazikukua lakini wakaomba omba hospitali za private nikadungwa nikalazwa tangu hiyo siku siku waona tena na sasa ni nani yamekuwa kikipia kukaa kwa kwa hospitali kukaa kwangu kwa hospitali Mungu tu nilikuwa na huwa nilikuwa na waveiwa na rock nikitoa nilikuwa huwa nilikuwa na wave nilikuwa waved na social worker hawakuwa mm-hmm. nanilipisha hata somoni mm-hmm. nilikuwa na baiwa dawa, dawa ikikuwa huko walikuwa nanidonga hawa walikuwa na shida na rock wamenilinda kama mtoto wao mm-hmm. lakini ikaa kuna point niligonjeka so akaona pia walikuwa na feel uchungu walikuwa naona vile nateseka so nika wakani refer Kenyatta. Mm-hmm. So Kenyatta nikaletwa to na ambulance. Nikakaa huko at most six months bila mtu pia hiyo sasa ni two years six months. Mm-hmm. Bila mtu nikakaa palliative care kuna hii au oh, daktari wana managing pain mm-hmm. na kuangalia mgonjwa kufollow up mgonjwa. Wanaitwa palliative care. Mm-hmm. So wakaanza kuniuliza current wakiuliza information huko nalo kwa kaona yenyewe in ukweli so wakaniuliza una relatives wengine nikamwambia mimi sina mimi najua anti na uncle na ushagu ushagu siezi toko hospitali kubwa niende ushagu hospitali ndogo juu kama nilikuwa na rock nilikuwa naimbiwa na watoto anti ati nitaua mama yao so huko nikaenda kwa shosho saa sita ndo wasi itakuwa nitakuwa naambiwa unataka kuwa shosho yetu na ugonjo 
So mimi nikasema it's better mimi nikae hapa. Kaniambia sasa utasikia vibaya nikamwambia nasikia vibaya hata na feel so devastated na feel to ni if if death in the corner ni yani gekufa lakini akaniambia sasa ndafanyaje? Pia mimi natamani family jo nimekula Christmas za kutosha huko Kenyatta. Ha, Christmas huko na rock ya kutosha hata Kenyatta nilikuwa nikarudishwa. So akaniambia unasikia aje sasa mwili nikamwambia ni uchungu ni uchungu hapo ndo ninakumbuka last word nika tena nikaenda ICU kwenda ICU kukaka ndo nikaanza ku regain consciousness nika lung ilikuwa ime imeaffectiwa nikadungwa nika regain consciousness within three weeks sasa akani follow up akanuliza kama anaweza penda kuhojiwa mimi nikona it's like nikawa wana feel wanataka kuni feel kuwa ni feel furaha ni feel excited nika akuruza mm. kama unaweza penda kujua you explain your issue mimi nikasema hey in kambi in life is meaningless mkiona tu Kenya ni mzuri ni sawa mimi niko ready but me i have lost hope just want to follow my parents ni be at peace with them because i can't suffer this na in i'm small do you go and i just need love and care na ukipoa pesa ati usaidike ngambia me don't want money mm -hmm. i just need a family which loves me and care because hata unipe pesa 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 itaisha na nitabakisha pa duniani lakini familia nataka mali niki hata nikikufa ni nipate mali mwili itawekwa seti ni kai hospital tena nikakufa mochari niende nitupe hapana niliombea nataka mali mwili nitawekwa kwa hivyo mambo ya pesa pia please enda tusaidie mayatima wengine huko wana nguo mimi nitakaa tu even na hiyo nguo ya hospitali sikuwa na nguo ile nguo yenye nilikuwa nilidadmitiwa nayo nilichafua so sijui ilipotea laundry sasa nilikuwa na vatu zile za kinyate ile wa mama hata nimepoteza tumaini mimi am waiting for 18 years to die because doctors we won't waliniambia kaniambia when you go to ask us help patients au apitishi tini as nikakumbuka yenyewe wanasema ngo kule juu ba uko shago was to my cousins walikuwa nafika 18 years university wanaaga 18 years university 17 18 wanaoma kifika wakienda sana 25 years wanaaga walikuwa na hiyo ugonjwa ya sickle cell walikuwa na ugonjwa so wakashindwa mbona hapa wanafika 18 nini wanakata 18 ama 25 anakata kuangalia siko selanimi siko selanimi wakasema kuna ugonjwa siko sel katika familia yenu na nika both parents wangu walikuwa carriers juma dada zangu wako nazo ni mindo iliangukia so nika carriers au kibati mbaya au kibati mzuri wako angukiwa na ayo mindo ilinipata so labda wako na ayo kuna nasikia walibeba walibeba hizo tu jeans. Unaweza beba tu carrier the same as parents. Carrier sasa hawa watoto wenye watapata ndo watakuwa nao nayo. Labda hawa na wako nao lakini iko inactive. So watoto wenye watapata ndo itakuwa hao ndo watakuwa na hiyo ugonjwa. Vile nilitoka huko Kenyatta wakani refer back to Anko. Anko kasema nimletenie lakini nitajua vile nita handle bibi yangu so nikaletwa na ambulance kutoka hapa Nairobi tukapita na Rock County Referral wakasema patient huyo ndio yako sawa lakini kuna operation anafaa kuanda go hii mugu yake iko mzuri sometimes atatembea na sometimes atatembea ju kuna mfupa hapa inaitwa the head of fema ni na enable mtu aike pressure atembe hii mugu nyingine ndio inua hivyo so yango hii head of fema ime imekulwa imepasuka ikaingia deep so imepanuka hivi so anafaa hip replacement nafaa kuwekwa hip replacement mm -hmm. ama mgui manipulate wewe itolewe mgui itolewe eh walisema hivyo cheze mbili hip replacement mm -hmm. kani itaweza kaju mm -hmm. hiki tu ni uchungu sasa nyingine inaweza msha body crisis sasa the option bila aliniambia inaweza tolewa mgu ama hip replacement yenye tu nitachagua so hii mguu hata vile uko na anatembea tu ndio ikrache siku hapa stand by saa zingine nasikia vizuri juu nilikuwa nimetoka kati nilikuwa naongea na yeye nilikuwa najidunga nilikuwa najidunga dawa so nilikuwa na nilikuwa najidunga dawa nikipumzika so 
waliniambia nitolewe ama hii lakini vile mtapata kama mtamsaidia hapa ni sawa akasema huko kanaro akasema akisinyi ndio tulikuwa tunadhani mtamsaidia kumbe hii mgundo ilikuwa inamletea shida akamwambia yes ndio tuligundua kwa x-ray hatukuwa tunajua tulikuwa tumeenda kumpima abnorme na alikuwa ameenda kunipima kuanzia hapa hapa so wakati walikuwa naenda round kuangalia x-ray wakaona hapa kuna kitu hapa ndio wakaenda wakapiga tena wakakuta mfupa huko imekuwa rotten so ni hip replacement wanaweza ka plastic sasa sijili watafanya so wakamwambia mnaweza fanya hapa akamwambia hapana lakini ku manipulate tunaweza manipulate hapa haya hebu tueleze kuhusu experience ya ugonjwa wa sickle cell e, uchungu gani unahisi ama ni nini kinaendelea nikianza kusema about sickle cell sickle cell anemia sio kitu mzuri mm-hmm. Hii ugonjwa ni shetani kwa by its name. Jus siko sela tokiambiwa rate your pain between a scale of 1 to 10. Even it has exceed over 10 and above because nikianza kama saa hii sina platelets as we talk now. Platelets in it helps in clot of blood. So sign kidunga nikijidunga hapa blood will overflow. It won't clot it overflow it overflow it overflow mm-hmm. paka nishikilie at sometimes ndio paka yenye yamwe kuacha mm-hmm. after na I, i'm working with that na, na bado ndio una jidunga dawa mm, eh bado na jidunga dawa mm-hmm. no lakini na bado na jidunga dawa na damu iko inaacha na jidunga hapa mm-hmm. ya uchungu nikiwa na uchungu mm-hmm. juzi zingine hospitali iko mbali kama hapa mm-hmm unaona hapa na Kenyatta. Huko mm-hmm. nikiwa naro kwa anti yangu, mm-hmm. nilikuwa najikaza na tembea hadi na omba lift. Mm-hmm. Junaro tu ilikuwa hapo na Rock Town, na yako anaishi na Rock Town. Mm-hmm. So hospitali ni kasa 3 4 kilometers. So kama sasa hivi even I'm walking with an HB of 4. Mm-hmm. A normal person kama sasa hii yo, you have an HB of 10 kuendelea. Mm-hmm na siko sela anafaa kuwa tuseme sana akikuwa na afadhali anafaa kuwa na 7 mm-hmm. lakini mimi niko na 4 mm-hmm. ni juu naanza kusikia kichwa iko mzito mm-hmm. lakini naomba tu Mungu na after na uchungu hii siko sela nimelala kwa ICU mm-hmm. nimelala HDUs mm-hmm. mz, e, mwili mzima so hii siko sela kitambo ianze kukuuma mm-hmm. kuna hii cells red blood cells zako mm-hmm ziko around mm. so mine it's not round it's like a sickle cell it, it's like a sickle cell so can you na cause pain in your your sickle cell shape mm-hmm. inakuja inakuwa sticky and rigid inakuwa ama kwa vein mm-hmm. kwa blood vessels mm-hmm. and you remember heart body inaendelea kupampa mm-hmm. so your pressure mm-hmm. ya yeah, tuseme kama cells kama hizo sickle cell around 50s get clogged somewhere in one place mm-hmm. Sando iliko by the end ilikos hapa hiki tu yoze hiyo mm-hmm. mfupa ipasuke juu ilikuja ka clog hapa mm-hmm. vile linele zili kukuja ka clog hapa ka clog iko ikakata kuenda mm-hmm. so hakuna nutrient yani ilikuwa inafika hapa yeah. so hakuna tiyo nutrients za mfupa nini mm-hmm. so hiyo mfupa ikaanza kurot ikaanza kupasuka pole pole juu ni kwa anza ku limp sa zingine si limp na limp na shindwa kwa ni what is happening mm-hmm hadi paka saa hii nilikuwa natembea lakini nilikuwa natembea nikilimba mm. juu sikuwa nataka kutembea na crutches mm. because you many people wanaanza kukuangalia mm. so ina laughter na inauma after na oxygen pain destroy kidneys liver internal organs internal organs because lack of oxygen mm. after na saa hii by the way it's pure to yangu oxygen level mm yako sasa hii yako kipimwa na mimi yako iko juu juu yako ita range 95 and above mm-hmm. yangu sasa hii nilipima jana mm-hmm. jana nikitoka church mm-hmm. nilipima ikapatikana iko 88 and ikifika 88 i need oxygen i need oxygen mm-hmm. nikamwambia hapana oxygen hapana mimi am tired of sleeping in the hospital mm-hmm. after na kenyata pia nikarudi juzi mm-hmm nikiwa my friends wenye walikuwa wanansaidia huko mm-hmm. walikuwa wananiosha nikiwa in pain seriously pain mm-hmm. in totally pain yani hata nilikuwa tunaomba tu madaktari 
wanipe hiyo dawa ile kuna dawa hii ya kunyamazisha mtu nikamwambia ki please munisaidie hiyo dawa juu hao watu walikuwa na kansa lakini walikuwa na kwa kemo so nilikuwa tunasikia one by one huyu yuko the next day huyu yuko until the last amekufa so kwa hiyo group yenyewe tulikuwa tunasaidiana at least kwa tunakuna duka kwa alikuwa ananibaia indomi tunaenda kubai ukipona tunaenda wananisukuma na ulche tunaenda kubai indomi tunakula tunakula ina wananilisha wananiosha wananifanyia nini alikuwa despite wako na cancer wanafaa kujizuia kwa infection ya alikuwa anataka kujua because i was so alone sikuwa na nguo so nguo ya kinyati kikuja hiyo ya kuoshwa ya wagonjwa wanaenda wanaendea na blangeti wanaendea wanaeka hapo so father walikuwa nasaidiana na father there is this father working at KNH anaombianga wagonjwa na me work there over 20 years juu nilimjua nikiwa mdogo juu nilikuwa nadmitiwa wakati mamangu alikuwa uhai kwa nadmitiwa Kenyatta na nakumbuka nilianza na huyo father wakati nilikuwa world 3b world 3b kama saini sasa unaweza enda world 9 world ten uko ama GFD GFD ni hematolog hemato oncology for for sickle cell people and cancer because they need special attention yani Michael umeka hospitali mpaka umejua hii mambo yote ya ya hospitali nimeka hata istoshe mambo ya hospitali Kenya ina ni worry na ninaomba Kenya Kenya wanisaidie nisahau watu kukufa nikihesabu wenye wamekufa mbele ya macho yangu marafiki zangu mtu unaongea na yeye mpaka mm-hmm. nikaanza kujiuliza signs za hizi kifo ni aje nikakuja nikajua juu mtu hezi jua kama miku, mtu anakufa mm-hmm. lakini on my side me i know i feel it because i've experienced kuna siku nikaongelesha rafiki mmoja yo the whole day tukakuwa na yeye mzuri tulikuwa tunaomba ya naomba usiku mimi nasoma biblia tunasoma biblia naomba tunaanza kupiga story tukasema siku moja tukitoka mimi naweza penda tu nikukuone na gari hivyo 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 saa kesho yake akazidiwa akaekwa kwa oxygen akanuliza Michael Michael nataka ungangane nikamwambia ni ungangane sipi utangangane utakuwa sawa kamwambia anataka ungangane juu usimamia wa mayatima wa uchange wa, wa akili za Kenya waache wengine wa Kenya wengine waache ku mistreat orphans so akaniambia i need you to serve i need you to survive nikamwambia pia uta survive akaanza ku calm down lakini hakuwa na furaha wakati wa kitambo akiomba naomba kilia akaanza kusema jokingly eh mimi naweza mimi naweza enda any time kamwambia wewe ushindi au roho ishindwe mimi ndo nitaenda mbele yako tukaanza kujoka kaanza kuniambia mimi naweza enda time lakini niko serious kamwambia unajua wewe mwenye anakufa tasa yake kwa anaongea kamwambia sio lazima mtu mtaki kufa tia siionge mtu hata kuna mtu mwenye amegongwa pale nje akakufa kamwambia acha kusema hivyo akasema akaomba tukapiga story kidogo akaniambia we watch movie shika isimu watch movie usifikirie juu ndo unaona kwa na stress acha mimi nipumzi acha mimi nipumzi kamwambia na simu kipigwa utaniamsha akalala akaenda kapumzika so asubuhi kifika sioni mtu hapo kwa kitanda nikauliza nas ni kwani huyu ameenda bila simu yake Amehamishwa ward kamwambia hapana kwani utajua nikamwambia ameenda wapi wewe tulimpata aliaga alikauka hivyo nilikasnikalia nikasema kai he was serious na hata kwa anaonekana alikuwa amek oxygen area akakuja kaka akakuwa sawa kaniambia anasikia yeye kuenda na akalala tu akasema acha yapumzike kumbe vile alipumzika hivyo akalala kilalanga lakini alikuwa na kansa sasa sijui ilikuwa stage gani juu nikikumbuka alikuwa cycle ya kemo ya round cycle ya pili mm. marafiki zangu wote wenye ni disema i must repay them back mm-hmm. for the good they have done hata kama sina nini lazima ni repay ni wasaidie mm-hmm. so sahi hata nikaanza ku imagine aki sahi nikigonjeka tena who will help me and sasa 
for this mom tulikutana na ye, alikutana na ye, alitoa namba yangu Kenyatta mm-hmm. so akasema kama wako namba at first wako anapeana mm-hmm. lakini wakakumbuka kinyo mtu watu alikuwa anapitia wakapeana namba mwenyako willing alikuwa anatafuta so it happened akapewa huyo akapewa namba yangu yangu na yangu so akapiga one of them ndo it happened to be mine wakati alikuwa ananipigia kapiga nilikuwa narok nilikuwa hd nikanipigia kanuliza uko wapi nikamwambia niko narok akaanza kuniambia mimi ni so so and so nikaniambia mimi nimetoka hapa na hapa akaniambia one i would like to pray with you i would like to support you kenya una by this kwata na kula because hapo bado nilikuwa tu peke yangu mm. so starting from there vile tulijiona na this kind mom akakuja akasema fast akatoka it was on sunday like, did like yesterday mm. akatoka church vizuri akasema tu roi nilimwambia akuja nione mm-hmm. akakuja naro akakuja naro kenye mm. ak- environment yenye alinipata nilikuwa nimemwambia mimi nadhani support kununua dawa hiyo environment zingine please mm-hmm. usiachane uachane na nimezoea lakini mm-hmm. saidi dawa jo hata nikishughulikia environment nitakufa tu bado akaniambia dawa jo alinipata mali nilikuwa nimekwa mm-hmm. na jo narok za referral so ijakuwa ni huko kwa Masailand mm-hmm. kiu imepasuka ina curtain niko na blanket ile moja at least Kenya tulikuwa unapewa duvet mm-hmm. na ka blanket juu huko ni blanket na sheet peke so kwa na blanket kwa na relative akuletee blanket ya nyumbani nini nini ya run lake after na huko nilikuwa nakula na nakula na rutini ya hospitali sasa hospitali mwisho inakuja saa kumi saa kumi hiyo ndio sasa inakulwa after hapo hakuna kitu kingine paka kesho mm. and you know siko sell you have to kule vizuri mm-hmm. na pia pakwa in environment mzuri no you f- receive that that love mm. so akakuja kanipata dirisha iko iko hivyo mango zangu yenye nilikuwa nimevaa sorry to say ilikuwa chafu so me even sikuwa na sikuwa na care about my appearance because nilikuwa nisha nisha zoe nikasema nisha agree the state ilikuwa ta sign kijeka mdosi na mimi sio mdosi nita bibili imekata it accept vile niko junajua mungu one day one time nikamwambia tu mungu please god give me just one month to help me to receive family i don't want money stuck kitu and i will repay i will make i will make my efforts to enable let Kenyans know to a message wapende orphans apart kwanza nataka kushukuru wenye wamenisaidia so far mm. wenye muomba na mimi wenye men support hata nipate slippers nini at least the wame revive a little hope yenye nilikuwa nayo nataka kuwashukuru sana Kenya endelee na hiyo moyo mm. Kenya nataka kuambia wako na hiyo upendo watembelee orphanage i've been an orphanage nikitembea na shule zingine i felt really bad environment and uonyesha watoto upendo hadi zawadi ukipapea hiyo zawadi sio maana sana lakini ile ai kenye niliona wanahitaji upendo na closeness mimi nikamwambia Mungu hata ukinipea pesa nibariki hata sitaki familia uniweke kwa familia ya udusi ama ya mas ya udusi ati niko ya familia udusi anipe familia yote bora iko na upendo na inakujua one month hata kanikuwa issue one month nikufe i will be i'll be appreciating na jina yako itatukuza nikaendelea kukaa hivyo akaanza kukuja mama kukuja vile kwanza alinipata hivyo aka felt tajja akaniuliza sasa hii curtain utafanya nini namna curtain nikamwambia hata hapo ukitisha atakwambia hizo zimekuja ni za emergency haizi kupea blanket uweke hapo kwa dirisha akaniangalia akaniambia acha nikakubaie blanket nikamwambia sasa soko imefungwa huyu mama mwingine akasema huyu kijana anakudanganya anataki yeye atakai kupea mtu mzigo kamwambia mimi nilikomba tu dawa ingine please sikuwa nataka kuharibu plants zako akasema 
mimi ndo nimejitolea nikamwambia me just buy for me medicine i'll be pleased akasema mimi ndo nimejitolea akaenda akabai akatena akakuja akaniekea na ile blanket ya elfu moja akakuja akaniekea akanipea nikajifunika akanibaya chakula akanipea ya dawa nikaenda nikanunua nikadungua ya infection nini nini by the way hiyo siku nika sleep soundly hata na joto kidogo at least uchungo iko kuja juu ya baridi juu sahi wakati wa baridi na sickle cell sio mzuri juu damu inakuwa thick kwa vena yezi enda mm. after na hiyo hemoglobin yetu itoshe ndo unaona wakati wa baridi unaweza kuta huko kama kwa rift valley huko huko nyanza nyanza Mombasa mali kuna lake unaweza kuta wasikose wa wameadmitiwa wengi mm, hadi hapa Nairobi kwa sababu ya joto mm, sababia, hata joto na hiyo lake region mm-hmm. na wakati wa baridi wakati kuna joto sana na baridi sana uzikosa mm-hmm. patient mmoja asikose but i thank god hata ka one of my kidney may collapse i thank god for the life na by the way as mimi nikiona it's not just saying but my end is near because hii mguu sijatibiwa ndio hiyo kidney imeka ime collapse na unafaa kutolewa ijatolewa so i know as i see my friends na even kwambia ali i know signs it's not a must signs ikuje tu pa mara moja ukufe it starts slowly slowly and me as i feel myself i'm feeling my body is getting weak weak and weak by day but naomba tu mungu juu niliomba mungu ni agree na mungu give me family i need just love mm-hmm. now relatives wenye alinifanya him and nimepitia hii life a bit of hell nimewasamehea though sita sau chungu wenye amenifanyia na Kenya nilikuwa nataka kuambia wasifanyie hivi mtu tena mtoto ya mtu tena na wenye wako na mama huko nje cherish your parents love them hata akiwa maskini mpenda huyo mama jo mama ndo atakupea upendo love is greater than anything else hata kwa biblia imesema love jota hiyo love ndio imefanya tumesamewa kwa dhambi Yesu akakuja akatukufia so upendo ndo nilikuwa nataka pesa siku, pesa don't want any much nilikuwa tunataka somewhere hata nina enjoy ku celebrate christmas wakati mtu anasema happy christmas somewhere na christmas mimi ndo nilikuwa nataka because hospital while well, 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 I was alone utambia nani christmas una it, it, your day is just miserable you know we feel that that mood of christmas in watu wanasikia in watu wanasema twende out nini nini mimi i see just it was just like a normal day even uh, nilikuwa nadhani nitakufa soon so yo, wakati hiyo hiyo christmas ilikuwa inafika kama any holiday it was very bad for me na wakati wageni walikuwa nakuja kutembelea wagonjwa wengine nikiwa kenyata mimi natoka wakati wanakuja mimi nachukua tu hiyo dress yangu ninajifunga vizuri juu sikuwa nayo na va dress mbili some of them they were called me like na chokora lakini mimi sikuwa na kea na fichukua hii nilikuwa najisukuma na kiti kiti kama hii kuna kiti ya plastic juu sikuwa nimeletewa crutches najisukuma na sukuma watu wanaona nikaa amad na najisukuma na jisukuma na jisukuma na jisukuma hadi kwa lift na jisukuma hadi kwa lift naenda napanda naenda napanda lift naenda kanisa na time wageni wakikuja wageni wakikuja wageni wakikuja mimi natoka na hiyo kiti naenda kwa lift na panda nina nakaa kanisa ninaomba nikikapo nikifikiria nikisikia masoja wanafukuzana natoka natoka tu na hiyo kiti yangu vizuri hadi kwa ward na napokea dawa ya saa tisa saa kumi na moja akitoka the same same way mimi natoka tu natoka na kuja naenda church na kaa guys kuna siku tena ikakuja thought nikakuja nikasimama kwa balcony niangalie hivi nikasema why am i suffering like this nikasema nikijitupa hapa chini si nitakuwa ndamaliza kifo changu nikamwambia 
maisha yangu kama nikasema it's better lakini kitu kingine ikaniambia ujulku umesema unataka ukikufu uende better place sasa ukijiua will you go to a better place nikasema me i don't care i've suffered enough huko marafiki wengine wananichekelea wengine wanani despite so there is no reason of living kwenda ku nikakaa ni kwa nimeamua hiyo siku lakini it was on a second floor so hapo tu kwa church nikitoka so nikasema hata nikiruka suppose naweza aga suppose naweza umia njilete shida nyingine so kati nilikuwa naenda ku conclude father katokea akaniuliza Michael what are you, what are you trying to do ngambia mimi nilikuwa tunafikiria why am i suffering like this police father Oh my suffering like this hebu niambie juu akikom dogo na niko peke yangu nimechoka akaniangalia akasema kuja kwa ofisi yangu amwambia hapana you do you do you know anything can nezo wa mtu pole pole ama unajua mtu mwenye anaweza ofa hiyo job akanuza Michael what are you saying kaambia me just want to die dawa nimekunywa nimekunywa relatives ndao wameni abandon bwana anti yangu akakufa akasema ati ni mimi na Mungu wangu nikawauliza so wakati uncle yako alikuwa na baba bwana yako amekufa kwa hivyo mko mnajua mnanitesa unasema sasa ni laana ya mimi na Mungu wangu ni sawa ni mimi na Mungu wangu ametumua bwana yako lakini ni sawa ni sawa nimeitikia so yeah so, swali nambalo linakuja kwa akili yangu umesema you feel like the days are your days they are, are coming to are an coming end. to an end yes because for real i have suffered but nimelala kwa streets kwa baridi na unajua the more unalala kwa baridi the more mwili nakuja kukua weak even as you can see for yourself mashindano kila mahali i'm not afraid to show mashindano kila mahali hapa kuna chuma you see mashindano kila mahali physical the, the things i have passed through nimedongwa kila mahali sahi hata nikigonjeka vents zime collapse saziko kwa mkono kama sahi ukifanya yako hivi ndio yako mimi nikifanya hivi hakuna zimeenda deep hata zinyongo zi hakuna sahi napatikana mshipa hapa kwa shingo la hata kwa shingo pia zimeanza ama nanyolewa nanyolewa hapa hapa na kwa hapa ama hapa mm, hapa juu mkono hakuna zimeenda kwa mkono zime collapse even as you can see i can't lie hakuna mshipa you can see the spots mm. wanajaribu mm. wanadunga mm. dawa inaenda inafura mshipa hakuna imeenda na tena niko ile shindano ya mtoto ile ya mtoto amezaliwa eh, ya yellow mm-hmm. ya adult tangi after na ni uchungu mkono yangu you can see is weak hapa nimefanyia operation hapa nikaenda operation hapa nime operation ya mguu ndo nikwambia hii inaweza mitiletiwa juu kuanzia hapa kulikuwa kumefura usa na inaweza inaweza kuwa pia imeoza hapa so ni ile tu nangangana hii siko cell it has been nikasema at least Mungu ageenipunguzia mzigo mmoja hata kama ningelala kwa streets ni ondolee ugonjo. Ama hata kama sigelala kwa stitch nimeitikia kuteseka na ugonjwa nikiwa na familia. Lakini zote both at once. Why? Lakini sasa umepata familia. Sasa nimepata familia na shukuru Mungu. Mm-hmm. As, as, as remember nimekuambia earlier sikuwa nataka hata familia mdosi. Mm-hmm. Yote tu iwe maskini iwe tajiri sikuwa nataka mtu tu mwenye atanipea that love. Mm-hmm. Na nimepata Nashukuru Mungu na kwa Kenya niombe na niombe mm-hmm. asikuje kupoteza moyo hiyo ndio pia inanipia stress you see stress. you see sasa bado tu siko at ni at peace bado because i know satan satan was this clever so mimi naomba tu Mungu tu ka hapa amenipea nikae tu hapa na nisaidie nilimwambia just a month hata kama utanichukua Mungu ni sawa but uh, let me enjoy that mother par- family love and that motherly love hata at least kani dakika tano sasa hata ukinipea 1500 1600 tani pesa itaisha utaenda kununua kenye unataka kani dawa itaisha utarudi tu pale pale kani chakula utakula it digest when do we excrete 
utabaki pale pale but mimi nilikuwa nataka that love morning hata nisikie tunaitwa my son nisikie tunaitwa mtoto yote that feeling eh yenye nilikuwa na naitwa kitambo na mamangu hiyo ndio nilikuwa tunataka and by the way hiyo yenye amenipea tangu hiyo siku don nasikia uchungu kidogo lakini si ile uchungu yenye inadmitiwa ile stress na nimekaa na nashukuru Mungu God of orphans so my, my my life has been miserable for these two people my my cousin my cousin that led my cousin and my mom those have brought me the great suffering and sijapenda sijapenda niwaone lakini nimewasamehea nimewasamehea jo pia mimi nilisamehewa jusezi wa hold grudge do the who are manifanya nikona many dead bodies many things in a square many suffering things paka ninaoshwa i accepted maliniko hadi unavalishwa adult diaper kuna siku nikajiendea cho ndo maana unaona that painful au marafiki na nyuma kana jiendea cho najua naso anasafishanga mtu according na time unasafishangwa asubuhi labda saa tisa kama mule mwenye utapata akimwelezea hata kujibu vibaya na usiku sana so kuna siku nilikuwa ninaumwa sana ninaendesha so asubuhi tangu ni chenjiwe nilikuwa nilikuwa naendesha sana after na wakati nilikuwa naendesha daipa ikaja so satisa nikakaa ikinichoma na unaniambia nasa ke please come and change me uko na daipa hapana mimi sina so nataka nikuvalishe nini nikamwambia ke please uniombe kwa mgonjwa nikamwambia sasa wewe umezoea kuomba nikamwambia sasa wewe hata ukiona current situation iko nina current situation niko yani muona my relative hapa so muona nikiwa peke yangu tumekaa na wewe please do the work yenye ulikuwa umeassign and god will bless you acha wewe sawa hata ukiniita omba omba lakini wewe tunisaidie nisaidie akasema juu mali atapata na kaenda so kuna rafiki yangu akaona nikilia rafiki yangu au marafiki akani approach nikona ananiangalia so ni ile tu nalia nikijificha juu sana sana naona nikawa ananiangalia akani approach akaniuliza nini kijana unatani unasikia uchungu kamwambia hapana niache tu akaniambia suseme kwa unasikia uchungu usaidiwe akaniambia nikamwambia hapana mimi niko sawa akaniambia stop hapa kocha niambia unasikia uchungu ama nikamwambia nikakaa nikasema tu acha nimwambie siogopi kitu nataka atanifikiria vibaya siogopi kitu mimi nikamwambia by the way mimi sizi tembea i'm alone but as you can see all patients are mevango lakini mimi I'm the old one out and my diaper is kind of full. So iko full large umejiendea cho ama uko nataka jenga mambia hivyo alafu na pia nisumbue na ni irritate yani a lot of things crossing my mind. Akaniambia sasa auna diaper akaniambia eh. Akaniambia nakuja. Wakaenda waka agree. Uzuri kuna duka hapo juu second floor nikao alienda akaleta akaleta pack nikaona anakuja na gloves akakuja na covering kuna kitu ya kukava yenye mtu anataka kujisaidia or mtu ameaga na funikwa so akakuja na gloves na besheni na maji baridi kidogo ngambia tokinyosha na baridi si sawa akakuja na gloves na besheni na afternoon mwingine akaenda katime hizo mangozi kiingia hizo za hizo za KNH yenye ngwa nimevaa nikihojiwa hiyo sasa akatime akazichukua karibu tatu ama hiyo ndio ilikuwa saka nguo yangu nime last kona hizi hata ngwa nimesahau kuvaa hizi jiungwa nimezoea kuvaa that dress ya hospital mzee hata nikiona nikaa nimeona nguo zangu nimezimoshwa juu hizi sikuwa nazo hata sweater hata ukiona hapo kwa video mmm na seti yako sana kwa mdosi sana hata kwa hiyo mm, that, that kind heart ya mtu 
nile tu pia nilimwelezea akaelezwa na madaktari aka feel that kind hata kasema hata kasi na match hiyo motherly love yenye unataka nitakupatia right sasa eh ungetaka wakenya pia wakuonyeshe hiyo love hiyo love hata mm-hmm. kama tu ni muda wote wanionyeshe hiyo love mm-hmm. even they support me hata at least to get to help me to see the meaning of this life mm-hmm. to get my strength back mm-hmm. to help me forget about those things because it's it's traumatizing me to see many people because pakata ni i always see like like if i'm going to die in any moment now even i keep telling my this my mom thank you may god bless you mm-hmm. and nikimwambianga my accomplishment nilimwambia i want to accomplish reason number one, i'll be on my knees kuombea baraka so number two, I want to build an orphanage because I know what to being an orphan is. Yes. Sasa Michael, pia na namba yako ya simu ndio mtu aweze kuwasiliana na wewe eh ajue pahali wanaweza wanaweza at least ku visit eh ndio pia upate huo upendo. Mtu mwenye anaweza penda kuni visit mali niko kunipea a word of hope my number is 07 4111 in kama unataka kuni support the same number na italeta pita mungu many people walinipigia nikiwaambia ni Michael anasema niko na sauti ya msichana hadi nawaambia ni ku video call lakini many walikuwa na amini ni mimi ni sauti yangu eh hiyo jina hiyo namba mugo. pita mugo eh pita mugo ni anko yangu alirejesta lakini ni mimi niko na simu okay. na hiyo line okay. kwa hivyo mtu asitie shaka mm-hmm. ni mimi niko na simu mm-hmm. ile tu alinirejestia line because iko nimefika itini mm-hmm. eh hata simu ni a good samaritan alinipea jinko nimeboeka mm-hmm. akaninunulia at least ina ni keep busy mm-hmm. I see things across going across the world. Yes, I didn't sorry to disturb you. Okay. you know? And God bless you all. Na Mungu abariki starting from Nibrod Tabu to all the journalists. Keep touching other life. Keep touching other keep touching other hearts and other lives. Na Mungu atawabariki. You'll be increased. Thank you. May God increase because hata mimi you took our guys starting from Hillary by the way Hillary where you are Mungu akubariki though you highlighted me but mm. so and even you took our video guys took our video team may god bless you may you be glo- may you be blessed muswai muswai kosa you are blessing this why sees and continue doing that great work and i know god has used you with the purpose and i was in shame because at least sikujua me i knew i was waiting for that sikujua one day i will sit here talking about my life i was waiting just down there nikiona watu bana gombana ikono mtata nikaambia oh mom please if anything happens ukinyona nikiwa mgonjwa ama ni admit you please don't abandon me if you abandon me please tell me i know what to do akaniambia will never yo to kwa akili yako kamwambia please na Mungu awabariki by the way she has three three daughters four daughters we live in this humble house two bedroom house and god ambariki despite what we share tunakula kenye tuko namu kamwambia even if you are eating a stone we will eat together yes we will eat together si ati nitataka nini because me have suffered a hard life that a person stuck Kenyans please in awaomba show the orphans upendo i have suffered a lot in hospital nimekosa hiyo upendo na mali mamangu au wazazi wangu wako nyoliaga I know they are always praying for me and I pray for their spirits. Walale salama. Their death affects me. Even my friends when you meaga, I've been all alone. 
I'm feeling that alum na tay nyo mini support. Thank you. Nyo mini pigia kunyambia encourage words. Thank you, but you can still encouraging me. Yes. Can still continue encouraging me. Unyombe. I was there for talking through my through them through my thoughts because I've seen many many people dying. Many people dying out there. Nikiona hata mtu ana quarrel about anything, wafa kushukuru Mungu hata kama unauza smoke up in jam na kuuza na uko salama shukuru Mungu. Kuliko mimi mwenye niko mgonjwa, niko yatima. Umelala tu hata una nyumba. Yaani nyumba yako tu ni kama hospitali. So kenye ilikuwa na ni stress na ninaomba Mungu abariki huyu mama mwenye amenichukua. Ju at least hata kama si nimeishi hospitali sana kenye siko nataka nikufe tena ni tupwe huko mochari sina mali pa kupelekwa so my man life ijekuwa kama niishi yani hospitali nimetupwa tena nikufe tena nitupwe mali sijui kwa tunataka humble place to be put na hiyo Mungu ndo amenipata amenipatia na continue helping orphans and widows thank you wakaskize and uskize to store anything that you have hata kama una kitu visit the your family yenye tu unajua any and to pay to your mtoto approach mtoto mmoja mwambie i love you let me be your sister your mom your nini na usimu abandon huko life huko ndani ni ngumu kwa nangangana na Asante ni wa Kenya mnaweza ni approach na asante kwa upendo wenu msaada yote yenu imekubalika na muzidi kuniombea yes. na nitazidi kuombea muendelee na hiyo roho and tuko please continue with that heart keep touching more lives keep risking keep risking more souls to god ni mnaweza kuwa mnaona mfanyi mengi lakini kwa Mungu mmeleta mmeleta sherehe kubwa kwa binguni No Michael can you just start right here. I feel like give me a brotherly hug. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Be well. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To go family. That's is the story of Michael. I don't have any other words to say. Bring all the love you can, master, to this young man. My name is Kimari Ongeshi. See you around. <laughs>